Hey everybody, this is the steel uh, example number six in the steel design for compression members. The problem statement that we have reads that a compression member experiencing service loads of 150 kips dead load and 550 kips live load. The length of the member is 28 feet and is uh, pinned at each end. Assuming A992 steel, select a W14 shape. So this is a design problem and we're asked to find a certain section, a W14 section which satisfies all these requirements. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the factored load. And uh, these factor the load combinations are based on ASCE7 for both LRFD and ASD. So the first thing, the first one we'll look at is LRFD. The governing load combination for LRFD will be 1.2 times dead load plus 1.6 times live load. Let me just write ASCE7. And so we plug in the numbers 1.2 times 150 kips plus 1.6 times 550 kips. And so the factored load for LRFD is going to be 1,060 kips. So now we'll calculate the factored load for ASD, and this is also based on ASCE7, and the governing load combination will be dead load plus live load, so 150 kips plus 550 kips, so 700 kips is our uh, factored load for ASD. So now we'll look at the LRFD solution first. So uh, what we'll do is, uh, so what we know that the effective length uh, is 28 feet. So the K, since it's pinned at both ends, that means K equals 1. And the length is 28 feet. So K times L is 28 feet. And then the required design strength that we need, we need, we need to find a section that has a required design uh, that has the design strength of at least 1,060 kips because that's what we calculated uh, in the previous step. So we'll use the column load tables that are in the beginning part of section chapter four of the manual. And so using table four dash one and and table four dash one and is based on uh, a not since our the the problem specification says that we have A992 steel, which is 50 KSI, which is a yield strength. And in table 4-1, the yield strength is also 50 KSI, so that matches. So we don't have to adjust in any way for that. So um, we just look uh, at, we take our KL value and go on the left side of the table and find 28 feet. And then we just move uh, over until we get the closest value that's uh, above 1,060 kips. So if you go into the table, uh, we have W14. So we have W14 by 90, 99. So that doesn't uh, that doesn't pass. 109 doesn't pass. 120 doesn't pass. So W14 by 132. Uh, the design strength is 973 kips, uh, so that's we're getting closer, but that's still not enough. So then we move over a little bit more to the left, and we get W14 by 145, and this has a design strength of 1,040 kips, and this is uh, greater than 1,060 kips, which is our required strength. So this is satisfactory. So this should be good. W14 by 4, 145. And now we'll do the same thing uh, for ASD. We know our effective length is 28 feet, and our the minimum strength, the minimum allowable strength that we need uh, for this member to have per ASD is 700 kips. So again, we go back to the same table, table 4-1, and we look at uh, W14 by 90 doesn't pass, 99 doesn't pass, 109, no, 5, uh, 120, no. So 132, we have 647 is allowable strength, 647 kips. So we're getting close, but not enough. And then we move over one again. So W14 by 145 
has an allowable strength of 759 kips and that's greater than 700 kips so that's good so that's um, so this is acceptable and this is the end of the example number six for steel design for compression members please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, visit our website at engineeringexamples.net and you can also check out our Facebook page and please like it facebook.com slash engineering examples thanks